what is going on youtubers welcome to another video today i wanted to make a top 10 best paint jobs for every statue in my collection this does include custom which the majority is custom and licensed pieces so i've been looking at my entire collection now i'm not basing this off what's my favorite i'm just basing off what i think looks like the best possible paint job I've seen on a statue where the lines are perfectly painted. It's very intricate. There's just tons of crazy paint detail that when you look at it, you're just like, wow, they did a phenomenal job painting that. So wanted to go ahead and uh, start out and do top 10. Now, this is quite difficult and I'd love to include transformers, but as far as I know, those are mostly decals uh on the majority of it so you can't really call it a paint job if it's a decal uh so we're not going to include any transformers on the list even though they all look phenomenally painted the majority of it is really decals so uh, we can't include that no decals that does not count this is like freaking either hand painted with a little you know brush or airbrushed uh for the paint job uh so number 10 on the list uh, I'm going to have to throw Red Sonia at number 10. Uh, now, this one in particular, there's two areas that really, really just impress me. Number one is that mouth. The inner mouth for this snake, dragon snake, is just freaking amazing. And then second is Red Sonia. The way they painted her skin... And her hair, the shading on the snake, just the entire thing is just freakishly good. You know, the blood splatter on the sword. This piece is truly is just incredibly impressive. All the different intricacies. When you look at it, it really just pops. And I freaking love the paint job on it. I was worried uh, initially that production photos wouldn't look that good. Because on the prototype even, her hair was kind of shiny and I hated that. And I'm super happy that they didn't give her that shine in the production. And it, it's just an absolute, you know, gem of a piece. And so definitely had to make my top 10 list at number 10. Number nine, number nine on the list is going to be ECC Marcus one third scale. So this particular piece uh, is really good paint job because of several areas. One, look at the wings. So check out all that different vein work. You got like little purple and then even like what looks like deeper veins like inside of him. And it's a translucent resin. So they're able to achieve that effect. And then the paint job here, like on his shoulders, in his face, the ears, the portrait. Just absolutely incredible. Look at that belly. So much shading and just crazy, like, vein work done on his chest. He, he has, like, little moles. Really love the paint job on the wings. Just absolutely phenomenal. Of course, the bottom part's mixed media, so there's not really much painted here. Outside, they painted the boots, and those look great. But the highlight really is just his upper body. That paint job is just so immaculate, and they did such a good job with all that little vein work and his shoulders and the portrait. So number nine, Marcus. Number eight is going to be Cinema Cat Predator. Uh, now, this is an older piece. You know, this thing is like a 10-year-old piece, but it still stands up as a, just a phenomenal paint job. You know, and Predators are more difficult to paint. You know, we've seen a lot of photos of different Predators over the years where the paint job was very subpar. You know, notably, all sideshows Predators are not that good paint job-wise. Uh, some of Prime ones have been questionable, but this one, I think Cinema Cat did a phenomenal job. Here in the mouth, really love the vein work, the shininess, the forehead. Each of these dots are individually painted. It's not a decal like Prime One uses on theirs. So it really achieves just a phenomenal look here. And then the body does look awesome. I would have loved a slight wet look, but they did do the dry look for his body. But I'm glad at least they did the portrait wet. The armor looks fantastic on this piece. You know, the weathering they achieved on this is just really, really good. So, absolutely love it. The way they did the wet effect here on the feet for, like, that water, really, really well done. The armor. No, it's a very intricate paint job, and that's one reason Predators are so expensive. 
but this one still for me is the best painted Predator to be released. We'll see if Prime 1 1 3rd can top this because I mean their prototype does look better but let's see production because you know that could you know we saw proto to production on their 1 4 downgrade quite a bit so we'll see how their 1 3rd looks but for right now I still consider this the absolute best Predators painted statue and Predator statue in general so number eight is Predator Number seven is actually going to be XM Alien. This piece is quite a crazy paint job. It really just pops at you when you look up close all the crazy detail. You know, aliens have such an intricate paint job. You know, like the way they do the paint here on the shoulders, the arms. And this one in particular just has such a crazy paint job. And they did give it a glossy wet look. Really, really love this uh, green black paint job. Thing, it just looks so good awesome and the fact you get two different aliens really love the paint job on this one and then the base has this weird like bronze gold speckled paint job which i'm sure just took ages to paint really really nice paint job on this one uh both portraits on the xm alien look absolutely fantastic but i do in particular like this one just because all my other aliens are domed so i stick to this one uh so, so they're not all domed and then number six is going to be prime one alien i do think prime one is better painted than xm alien this one is as of right now is the best painted released alien statue until big chap arrives which i think will top this but I do think Prime One did an absolute phenomenal job here. Uh, you know, very intricate, very, very detailed. Has a wet look. The inner mouth, just absolutely phenomenal job by Prime One. And probably their best painted statue, I would say, by Prime One. You know, probably the best licensed uh, production paint job I've seen is Dog Alien. But I do think Big Chap will top it. Uh, I think uh, Big Chap will top it, though. I'd... I think the chap will be the best alien statue released. Now that is, you know, the first uh, five are all licensed. The rest are actually all customs. Uh, and starting at number five is going to be Pennywise. Uh, now Pennywise is a perfect paint job. And granted, pretty much all these are, but how intricate they are is wh where I order it, uh, put it. You know, because Pennywise is not as intricate as some of the other ones, but it is a flawless paint job. The way they did the mouth, the wet effect, the nose, the eyes, the skin texturing, you know, it's its absolute perfection. Such an amazing paint job. You really just, wow, it looks just like them. Uh, and then number four is actually gonna be Caesar. Now Caesar, 90% of them is gonna be fur so that doesn't count too much i mean they did obviously do a little bit of spray on his chest but his face is what really just blows you away i feel like this paint job is more intricate than pennywise you know and so the way they painted the skin it looks like real monkey the nose the way they have that wet effect inside now you can see it right there very very intricate the way they did this so it really just, you know, looks incredibly realistic. So this is going to be number four. Number three is going to be Lurt's Bust. Now this one is mostly the portrait, uh, although I do think he did paint the actual uh, armor as well. But this one does have an absolute insane paint job. Look how intricate that is, the inner mouth. Crazy, crazy looking. That forehead you know because of the way it has like sauron's arm and this one is you know more of like a sloppy look because it is an orc the way it is but it's just an absolute crazy paint job the way they did you know like there's just so much to it you know like words can't even describe it it's absolutely maddening you know and when my buddy uh, the one that sold me the alien bust came over he was actually most impressed with lurt's bust he liked it more than none and rotunda uh, this thing just really is crazy good. So very, very awesome paint job by Jupe. Number two, though, I do think Nun is my second best paint job. I think she has a little bit of the edge over Lurts. I think, you know, her skin. Uh, this is one that you really just need to see in person that just is mind-blowingly good paint job. 
the way they did her portrait and her mouth is so incredible. It really just like, whenever you see this piece and every time I come downstairs, it's like, whoa, I think they did just such a phenomenal job with her. You know, her paint is just so good, especially on that mouth and like her cheeks here. It's just absolute wild. Of course, it's glass eyes. They didn't actually paint the eyes. They didn't make them. I don't know if they painted them or not, but the eyes look phenomenal. Definitely some of my more favorite uh, glass eyes in my collection. But I do consider none to be just absolute wild paint job. And my second favorite paint job in my entire collection. But number one does have to go to my newest grill acquisition, the Dog Alien Bust by Lil Shop of Horrors Chase Smith. So this, he put over 80 hours into painting this piece, which is absolutely insane because most production, you know, busts like this one probably only had five to six hours. So 80 hours. Now I've been looking at this piece quite a bit to determine this, and I have come to the conclusion it's the best painted statue I've seen in my entire life. Uh, you know, whether it's prototypes I've seen at cons, my entire collection, other people's collections, I've never seen a better painted statue than this one. Uh, and it also is just due to the unique design of, you know, Dog Alien. There's so much intricacies here, you know, especially like in this neck area. Like, look at this, like, almost like beehive type thing. Like, how the heck did he paint that? You know, some of these you know, just intricate paint jobs, super, super intricate. Different patterns all throughout. It, it's just absolutely mind blowing. Even the, you know, inner dome that's been painted and it looks like a real skull. And then this mouth, my gosh, look at that. Chrome teeth and then the actual mouth itself, like there's a drool effect. I don't know if you can see that, but right there at the bottom of the mouth, he does have a drool effect. And the inner mouth also has a drool effect. You can see right there. That inner mouth, though, looks so incredibly realistic and good. You know, I don't see any sloppy paint. It all is just absolute maddening how good this is. You know, as I've had it, I almost wish I could go back and talk about more in my review, which is one reason I'm making this video, because this piece truly is an absolute masterpiece when it comes to, you know, like that paint and sculpt. I mean, the sculpt is the original... Uh, mold of Dog Alien. So this is the Dog Alien from the movie. He got the molds from ADI Studios and then he spent 80 hours painting this. And he's the best painter in the world when it comes to Alien and Predator statues. That is without a doubt 100% true. It, this, you just can't get better than this. Uh, the only thing that can top this is when Chase makes his big chap. Uh, <laughs> his big chap will probably top this, maybe. Uh, I still absolutely love the design of Dog Alien, uh, but that's the only thing. Uh, only another product by Chase could top this. I've never seen a better paint job than this. It's that freaking good. So props to Little Shop of Horrors and Chase Smith. You're an absolute master, the grandmaster of painting uh, Alien and Predator statues that I've ever seen. Uh, so... Props to them for taking the number one slot in my collection. As you know, I have a very vast collection with, you know, over 400 pieces. So that's a huge spot to take being number one in my collection. You know, and uh, it's hard not to include pieces, you know, like Arnold and, you know, Jack Sparrow. But their paint job is more simplistic than, you know, like the likes of Caesar or the Alien. So it's, you know, obviously Arnold looks incredibly good paint-wise. But... I don't think it's as intricate as like Lurtz or Nun or obviously Alien. So that's a reason I don't include him. But yeah, that's uh, my top 10 favorite or best painted uh, pieces in my entire collection. Uh, let me know your thoughts and comments below. Hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day.